And you know what that means? It's time for weekly purchases. That time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via UPS, DHL. Does anybody really use DHL? DHL, Amazon, United States Postal Service, FedEx, and of course, that old outlaw, that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings. And then we take the toy news of the week. We wrap it up into a ball and we put it all together and we do call it weekly purchases. And this week, a lot of videos on the channel as we always recap at the beginning the, what happened on the channel this week. A lot happened on the channel. Even more happened on Patreon. As currently on Patreon, we got like 15 to 20 videos we have not put on to YouTube yet. So check out the Patreon down below. A lot of stuff going on on there. A lot of stuff to go in the weeks to come. I already got the video series with my wife Angie and I up on Patreon as well for a little Easter egg for you guys. Uh, but this week on the channel, what we released on YouTube, we of course continued our Tuesday deep dives into the Jax Deluxe Classic Superstar Series. Series 8, the final series of the Jax Deluxe Classics. After this, we are going to go into some of the exclusives and we'll see where the Jax sets go from there. So stay tuned. We unboxed King Kong, NECA King Kong, uh, one of those videos I've had for about a month, uh, just sitting around, finally unleashed that this week. I got that for $11 on clearance, got to get a deal, we say it all the time on the channel. We unboxed some Marvel Legends this week, uh, I did a little St. Patrick's Day unboxing of Loki, did you notice my green shirt had to represent, so we did Loki, we did Walgreens exclusive binary, and we did also the Amazon exclusive, fan channel exclusive, whatever it is. Winter Soldier figure. So three Marvel Legends this week. We'll talk a little Marvel Legends in the news portion of the show here shortly. We unboxed Masters of the Universe Revelations Trap Jaw figure. Uh, an interesting one. An interesting take on Trap Jaw. Not the most iconic. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments on that one. We unboxed Trap Jaw. One I was very excited about. You guys know I love Harry Bipedal Creatures. Andre the Giant as Bigfoot from the Mattel Hollywood line. We unboxed that on the channel this week. We unboxed the Amazon exclusive Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Finster this week, a fabulous figure. Just next level amazing uh, quality to that figure. If you guys are on the fence, man, pick that up. That is a solid, solid figure. We unboxed Turtles vs. Batman, our unofficial Turtle Tuesday. On Tuesday, we did Turtles and Batman. Uh, we had, uh, what was it, Leonardo and Batman this week. I think next week will be Raphael and uh, Robin. Robin and Raphael, and that is currently up on Patreon right now if you're interested, as well as next week's Jax Deluxe Classic is up as we're filming this as well. House of a Thousand Corpses, Trick or Treat Studios, Captain Spaulding. You guys know Devil's Rejects, my favorite movie of all time. House of a Thousand Corpses, I love it as well. Not my favorite, but I do love it. Love any Captain Spaulding figure we're going to get. You guys know I'll be buying any Captain Spaulding. I have a hunch NECA will give us an ultimate Captain Spaulding. Maybe later in 2022, early 2023, something like that. I think it will be coming, so stay tuned for that, hopefully. We unboxed some Mattel Basics. You guys know I dabble in the Basics. We did another Basics unboxing video this week. We did one last week as well. Uh, Jeff Hardy Top 10 in honor of 14,000 subscribers on the channel. We did a Jeff Hardy Top 10. Very timely. As we all know, Jeff Hardy just debuted in AEW in the last few weeks. So very fun to do that one. A lot of people have been requesting that one. Looking at 15,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend. You guys know how it goes. Tell a friend. We'll get to 15,000. Looking at doing Rey Mysterio, unless uh, somebody steers me in a different direction, but Rey Mysterio has been another one that's been much requested. We'll look at maybe doing him for a top 10. We'll see what happens. So uh, Jeff Hardy, top 10. Speaking of top 10s, top 5s, now next week is one I wasn't really thinking about doing. We were going to do it eventually, but it feels kind of weird. As we all know, old Scott Hall, the bad guy, passed away this week. Very unfortunate, of course. Uh, I don't want to feel like I was cashing in on Scott Hall mania, but I've had a, a crazy amount of requests and messages saying, hey, why don't you do a top five Scott Hall? Why don't you do a top five Scott Hall? Now, if you guys remember, we already did a top five Razor Ramon a couple months ago on the channel, and I was going to do a Scott Hall eventually, uh, but I figured no time better than now, I guess. We'll do it. A lot of people wanted to see it so I said hey let's do it uh, I gotta be honest like I always say I'm always honest on this channel Scott Hall was never my favorite wrestler he was never my top 10 uh, so I always believe in preaching the guys that pass let's uh, celebrate them while they're here and a lot of people are saying oh Scott Hall is my favorite my favorite well 
You got to let these people know when they're still here. That's what I always say. Shout it. Wear it on your sleeve all the time because uh, it feels weird if you're shouting his praises after he's gone. But we should be shouting his praises. But I've heard a lot of people say, oh, Scott Hall is my favorite that you would never know because they never said anything about it until after he passes. So uh, it's always unfortunate when anybody ever goes. Uh, I do really like Scott Hall. Uh, Really, his WCW time was always my favorite. It's funny. I like Scott Hall more than Razor, which is probably different than most people. I don't know. Maybe it depends on your age bracket. But this Thursday on the channel, or probably as you're watching this right now, it's probably already up on the Patreon. Uh, the top five Scott Hall figures as voted by me. So check that one out uh, when you get to it. Uh, we also uh, did a fig hunt this week. Surprise, surprise. Every single Friday, we do a fig hunt on the channel. And we went to Ikea, Ikea this week. David C. Anderson came along for the ride. You got to strike fast. And you guys know... Three and a half hours to my nearest Ikea. Three and a half hours home. So it's a it's a jaunt, uh, but that's what you do for your collection. Had to get some Ikea stuff and then a lot of other fig hunting this week. Sting overload this week in my area. And you'll see that if you watch the fig hunt video. Check that one out. And then finally, Super 7 Ultimates. You guys know I love Super 7. Uh, I've got uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course, from Conan the Barbarian. And we got James Earl Jones as Thulsa Doom from Conan the Barbarian. Unbox those two Ultimates on the channel this week. Uh, actually surprised me a little bit, so check those videos out as well. So as usual, a lot going on on the channel, a lot going on on Patreon, a lot going on in my everyday work life. I was on vacation kind of this week for a couple days, but not really. Uh, I was pretty fired up about it, but it was, it was a long week. We'll just put it that way. Uh, so a lot going on, but a lot of news going on this week as it's been kind of shy on the news front the last few weeks, but we definitely got some news this week. And Friday, uh, as you guys know, I film weekly purchases on Friday afternoon, Friday evening, depending on my time and where work's at with me. But uh, we did get an announcement on Friday. Bone Crunchers from Chella. Yeah, don't forget, they're coming out with Bone Crunchers, not just retros, not just elite-style figures. We're getting Bone Crunchers. And they showed pictures. This one came out of left field, and I think caught a lot of people by surprise. Macho Man Randy Savage, a more iconic wrestler. There isn't many. Uh, we're getting a late, uh, late edition, I guess, Macho Man before he went to the NWO stuff. Kind of end of or beginning days WCW, I guess I should say. Uh, getting that look to him. So that is pretty cool, and I think that surprised a lot of people. The legalities of all this is always a mystery. Uh, can Macho Man, does he have a, an agreement similar to Andre the Giant where other toy lines can make him and Mattel? Is his Mattel uh, time done? Are we not getting any more Macho Mans from Mattel? I'm not exactly sure what this all means, but we are getting a Bone Cruncher Macho Man. I got to think this will be a hot seller. Price point's a little tough, around $40, but we've talked about that a lot on the channel about these smaller companies. They don't have the buying power of the Hasbro's Mattel, so to be able to pay the licensing for Macho Man plus only make, you know, 5,000 figures, 10,000 figures instead of 20, 40, 50,000 figures, the costs are not the same. It's not apples to oranges, so you got to pay up for these kind of things. It's just business 101, putting on the old business hat. But that was pretty interesting. And then this week... A curveball came through. Well, first off, Elite 95. I guess it was uh, the leaked announcement lineup there. We're finally getting that Shotzi Blackheart. I can't wait for that one. I got to think that's a top 10 figure this year. Love me some Shotzi Blackheart. We're getting Big E again. Very timely with Big E as a week ago. Man, he broke his neck. Can you believe that? If you saw that, that was really rough. But, uh, man, Big E does have a strong neck. I got to think all that muscle in his neck really helped him in that. I would have to think. I'm no doctor. I play one at the table every once in a while. Uh, but I have to think that saved him. But hope, well wishes to Big E. Uh, my kids love Big E, of course. And I met Big E before. Nice guy. Uh, so Big E's coming. John Cena. Uh, Bobby Lashley. Lashley Overload's going to start. We're going to start getting a lot more Lashleys, I feel. And then we're getting Jimmy Uso to complete Jey Uso. Uh, that's kind of a nice thing. Get those guys back on an even playing field. And then we're getting Eddie Guerrero. His return to the traditional elite lineup. So we'll see what we get. Have to think in the next couple of weeks, we're going to get a ton of reveals from Mattel about Wrestlemania so stay tuned for that we'll do probably a reveal video around Wrestlemania time frame on all the Mattel reveals but the interesting leak lineup here and it's there's I don't know if there's anybody in the middle you either are here or you're there and as I say that maybe I'm in the middle I don't know but you guys tell me what you think about this but it sounds like there is a WWE greatest hits line coming good news for new collectors Bad news for longtime collectors, but then we'll talk a little bit of the middle of the road. But the greatest hits lineup, leaked lineup, rumored lineup, Bam Bam Bigelow, The Rock, The Undertaker, Jake the Snake Roberts, how does he keep doing this, uh, Rikishi, and Rey Mysterio. So heavy, heavy hitters, Hall of Fame quality talent, definitely greatest hits, guys. And it seems like this is me putting my business hat on. 
Mattel, guess what? They want every penny out of your wallet, every dollar out of your wallet, of course we know. We see some of these old-time elites of maybe uh, Rey Mysterio, the old original Bam Bam, some of the rock ones going for high dollars on eBay. They say, hey, guess what? There is a market for these. We need to re-release these because as much as they love people buying their old product and selling it on eBay for crazy prices, they'd rather re-release those, bring the price down, get money for Mattel. That's business 101. If there's a market, if there's a way to make money, they're going to go after it. That's what we're going to see with this greatest hits. That being said, I don't foresee a direct re-release. I think we'll see some of the pinless joints, double jointed elbows possibly. So it's going to really take those old classic looks to the future. And let's be honest, Mattel's been going at this for over 10 years now. Uh, there's a lot of new collectors. There's kids that collected, went away, have come back. Uh, there's new collectors all the time. And it does suck for longtime collectors like myself. Hey, I already had that. I don't want that. I want something new. But longtime collectors like me, and maybe you, if I'm talking to you out there, we are so much in the minority. And we're seeing this with Marvel Legends as well. As there's new collectors, they got to have those classic attires. You can't just have a classic Undertaker never released again. Uh, so it is Business 101. I'm glad there's going to be some differences. I hope there's some alternate heads, some way to make it a little bit more different than just a straight re-release. Uh, obviously, the pinless joints are going to make that happen. Uh, but if they can do something just a little bit different for the long-time collectors, bring us into this, that would be a good thing. But we've seen this with Mattel. We talked about it last week with the Ultimate Editions. HBK, Brock Lesnar coming back out to retail. Uh, I think Mattel made a big mistake. I think they should have thrown a different head, some different accessory to make people like me pick that up because that's an easy pass for me. I already have a mint one. I have a loose one. I don't need it. But if they would have thrown another head in there, ugh, some collectors get to buy it. That equals more sales putting that business hat on. Uh, but anyways, the greatest hits line, more to come on that. I got to think about WrestleMania time frame, but it might be a chance to get. Now, here's a perfect opportunity. Harley Race. Everybody missed out on Harley Hysteria. Let's re-release Harley Race. That's fine. Do it. Give him pinless joints. Give him those changes. But guess what? Instead of the hard good plastic cape robe, robe, I guess, in this case, instead of the hard goods robe, let's give him a soft goods robe. Let's change it up. Make it different enough not to totally decimate the value of the old one, but give people that missed out another chance. Give them a soft good rope. That's the kind of changes I'd like to see in this. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess I am middle of the road. I said nobody is. I'm going to be middle of the road. I'm going to be optimistic. I always try to keep things positive, as you guys know. Uh, and that's what I'm going to go. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to think different heads, some different sculpts, things like that. Not just a straight up direct re-release. But the thing is, be careful what you wish for because True Effects is good when it's good, but when it's bad, it is horrendous. Uh, think Trish Stratus, of course. If you get some of that in some of these, it's going to be all for naught. So we'll see. Uh, just stay tuned. I guess in the next couple of weeks, we should see some reveals from Mattel. So like I said, stay tuned. So there's that. Zombie Sailor, we talked cello toys. Well, Zombie Sailor this week showed a little prototype image of Todd Pettengill. I'm all in on Todd Pettengill. I just don't know how well Todd Pettengill will sell. Uh, announcer suited figures don't always sell the best, especially at a high price point. Uh, but we'll see. A lot of longtime fans love Todd Pettengill, so there is the option to get that. Moving on to a few other things, some miscellaneous notes before we get to some big news of the week. Uh, Super 7, oh, Super 7, putting a little sneaky picture on their Twitter account of Storm Shadow. It looks like they are getting ready to announce another release, uh, pre-order possibly of G.I. Joe, another wave of Ultimates. Storm Shadow, you can't miss that. Of course, the white, but of course, the tattoo as well. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm all in on these G.I. Joe Ultimates. They look fantastic. I cannot wait to get these here at the table. I just hope they don't disappoint. But we'll see. They should be coming uh, mid-summer time, somewhere in there. We'll see what happens. And then a few other notice or news things. Some Turtle Mania this week, of course. Uh, it sounds like somebody out in Vegas found the new April O'Neil Casey Jones Farm 2-pack. Of course, myself, I, myself, like a lot of you guys, got ours canceled from Walmart. So hopefully we can find those in the stores. Uh, but those are apparently hitting out in Las Vegas, of all places. And then we saw... Uh, a little holothon action from Target. So I was hunting that in my video, my figure hunt video this week, to no avail. I did find a few things. I shouldn't say to no avail. I did find the Wolfman. I did find the Muckman. My dad ended up getting a Wolfman as well. He is going to come back on the channel. We're going to unbox that black and white Wolfman, so stay tuned for that. There is a video up on Patreon of my dad and I unboxing a little NECA Universal Monsters thing. So if you uh, are a Patreon member, you've probably already seen that video. But we'll get that on the traditional YouTube one day. Uh, but we did see uh, April and Casey, like I said. But then the Target Holothon this week. Uh, I struck out. I did not get the Target 4-pack. So I'm still on the hunt for those. 
I got to think tonight, Friday night, I'm going to go out for pizza. I always do on Fridays. And then, of course, I'm going to hit a couple of targets, and hopefully I come across that Turtle 4-pack today. Stay tuned to the Fig Hunt next week and weekly purchases next week to see if I'm successful. But online, they did throw up Fugitoid and Toka and Rezar. Uh, I missed out on Toka Rezar. I did get Fugitoid, but Toka Rezar, I don't know what happened. I never saw it. It was gone from the website. So hopefully I can find that in the stores. We'll see what happens. But we did see Super Bebop, Mighty Rock Steady. We talked about it last week. Well, it's starting to hit stores right now. I saw already uh, Kansas City, not too far from me. They have got those. So I'm hoping maybe I can find that two-pack as well this week. Uh, keep your fingers crossed for me. But a lot of turtle releases going on with this holothon. As usual, it's a big mess. As usual, things aren't up on time. They're sold out immediately. So it goes. So it goes in 2022. But the holothon is going. If you're looking for that Back to the Future, some of that, be checking your targets now. Because I think everything was supposed to be up by yesterday, if you're watching this on Saturday. Friday, I think everything was supposed to go out. But it's up to the NECA rep. When do they get to there? Do they get there Friday night, Friday morning? Who knows? Uh, but stay close to your targets. That's all I can really say. Uh, Amazon this week, they came in with a Doc Dr. Octopus Silk 2-pack. I pre-ordered this. It has sold out now. I may cancel it. I'm not sure what I'll do. I just kind of ordered it. Better safe than sorry. Ask questions later. As you can always cancel with Amazon. But getting, once again, we talked about it with the wrestling, getting Doc Ock back out there again. A lot of people missed that one. Now's your another chance. Same with Silk. A lot of people missed the old school Silk. They missed the uh, fan channel Silk or the Hasbro Pulse exclusive uh, Silk. They missed that. It's a way to give a little bit of differences to get those back out there. Uh, just basically repaints. The price point's not terrible. If you're going to buy aftermarket, it's much cheaper to buy these two. Uh, there's a little tweaks, little differences, and I guess I'll, I'll bowl it over and we'll see where it goes down the line. But I think we're going to see a lot more of this kind of stuff in the future from Hasbro, Mattel, and other chains. Uh, getting some re-release stuff out there, if that makes sense. So we saw that. Then the last thing this week kind of swooping in there is we saw that mummy accessory pack from NECA from the Universal Monsters. Well, this week, Frankenstein accessory pack. Got the table, got the extra head, got some of that stuff. Very, very cool. I'll be picking that up. I'm sure my dad will be grabbing that as well. We'll unbox that here on the channel. But it looks like a lot of these uh, NECA packs are going to have some accessory sets. We've seen Mummy. We've seen Frankenstein. It'll be interesting if you see like Dracula uh, and maybe one for the Wolfman. Where's the creature from the Black Lagoon? Hopefully he's coming soon. Uh, but very cool. A NECA accessory pack announced this week. But the big announcements of this week was Mattel coming with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe uh, reveals for the Masterverse line. And, of course, the Origins line. Uh, I'm all in on both of them. I'm doubling up on the Origins. I'm just loose on the Masterverse. But a ton and ton of announcements this week. I guess we'll start with the Origins side first. We're getting another vehicle. They've done a great job with the vehicles in the Origins line. We're getting the Roton this week. Or this week. This year. In the fall of this year, we're getting the Roton. Uh, very, very cool looking vehicle. Very iconic villain vehicle. Uh, it's time we got this. Another army builder vehicle if you are so inclined, but this will be coming. Uh, and they've made the price point very reasonably on these, I felt. And uh, very good quality, all that kind of stuff. So we do have that coming. We also saw King Randor. A lot of people are saying they love the face on this King Randor. To me, he almost looks like a, a monkey. Or You ever see that Land of the Lost back in the day? I'm just thinking of it right now. Land on the Lost, not the original, but the Nickelodeon like reboot. What was that uh, little furry monkey like guy that was the friend? It was like Chaska or something like that. Chaka, Chaka, Chaska. I'm trying to roll it back to like 1992. He kind of has that kind of guy's face to me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it'll look better in person. I don't know. But King Randor coming. We definitely need him. We also saw Tila and Zor. Now, Zor was a favorite of mine as a kid, and we're getting that. Uh, kind of very similar to the uh, Eternian Guard that we saw at Big Lots of all places. I never saw it there, but a lot of you guys did. And then it was on Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and so forth. We did see that as a two-pack coming this fall. It's up right now on Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below if you are so inclined. Uh, I'm going to have to get two of those as well. So that's a cool one and a different version of Tila, which I think is cool. And then we got some more. We got Snout Spout, kind of an elephant-like looking guy. I never had the original release, so we're getting him in the Origins. We're getting Leech, we're getting Grizzlore, we're getting Mantana, 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 Mantana. We're getting some of the Horde, so we're really building out the Horde. When are we going to get that Fright Zone? But we're getting that, that's pretty cool. And then we're getting a 200X Skeletor. 
I don't know how I feel about that. It's interesting with him and He-Man being put into this line, and we're seeing a lot more of it in the Masterverse as well, but I'm here for it. I'll pick it up, but I'd rather see more of the original style characters completed before we get to some of these other universes, but it is what it is. It's Mattel. They can do what they want. Hopefully they got their business hat on and they think that is a good idea. But that's the origin side. And then we got a few. We know Sunman is coming. The, the delay on the Sunman Mattel exclusive one. Of course we know about that. But we're getting Pighead. We're getting, uh, what's this guy's name? Space Sumo and Digit Oh boy. DiGiorno. We're getting a DiGiorno pizza. No, we're getting Digatino. So I'm not familiar with any of the Sunman stuff. I never even knew about Sunman until a few years, like five years ago. Just totally under my radar didn't know anything about it they're molding that into the he-man universe for good or for bad depending where you sit as always i sit right here uh personally i'd rather have a sub line with that instead of taking up spots because it, it is a different line you can't really fold it in uh, they tried it a little bit with mask and gi joe it didn't go very far uh, but i'm not against it i'm not against the idea i would buy these figures if they were in a sub line or in the line i just feel like it should be a sub line but whatever it is what it is they're gonna do what they want to do mattel's gonna do mattel that's the way it goes but then we turn our attention to the masterverse size which gosh i love the masterverse but i feel they could be a lot better but i want them to be more like the masters universe classic figures but i can see mattel well we already did those we want to do something different so i gotta get there is differences and stuff but it could be like the masters universe classic with better articulation would be really nice but we are getting uh, He-Man and Skeletor from that brand new Netflix series. That's the biggest miss to me. Some people love that. I'm just not watching that cartoon. I watched like three episodes with my kids and I just couldn't do it. I, I don't know. I'm getting old, I guess. Uh, but it is cool enough. It is different enough. And they are celebrating all the years of the Masters of the Universe. So uh, it depends where you sit, I guess, on that. But I'll be picking them up. But they're probably not going to be my favorites. But you never know. I've been surprised here at the table in the past. Uh, we saw Ninjor coming down the line, too. Everybody's favorite ninja that's not Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes. And I'll go on and on. But we got Ninjor coming to the Masterverse line. Hordak, man, I'm all in on this one. This one looks amazing. I think this was probably my favorite one of all the releases. I just think this Hordak looks really good, really classic. But not far away from that is the classic Beast Man. It's a bit of a repaint, but cool enough. I'm all in on Beast Man, a favorite of mine. Can't wait for this version of Beast Man. We did see Catra, Catra from She-Ra, and I gotta be honest, I think I saw maybe one one episode of She-Ra in my life. I saw the holiday special, of course, but one maybe traditional She-Ra episode. I don't know if I could sit through all that. As a kid, I was a boy. I was a boy's boy. I'm not watching She-Ra. I'm not doing it. I did dabble in some gem, though, because you know what? Gem was truly outrageous, so I did watch some gem from time to time, uh, but I just didn't watch She-Ra. I was all in on He-Man, though, as you guys know, but Catra is coming. We're getting the 200X He-Man once again in the Masterverse line. Uh, we're getting Hero, which is interesting. I don't really like the head on this one. I hope it looks a lot better in person. Uh, we're getting Sun Man, of course. It's the year of Sun Man. We're getting him in all the lines. This one actually looks okay, though. I like the uh, wings on him on here. I thought that looked very solid. Uh, then we're getting Battle Armor He-Man. This is another one that's a little interesting. Uh, interesting shield on him. He's got his long hair. He's got his beard going on. I just don't know if it hits everywhere we want to be hit. Does that make sense? But we're getting the battle armor. I thought it looked uh, fairly good. And then we're getting She-Ra. And this She-Ra looked like one of the best ones too. Uh, like I said, I wasn't a big She-Ra guy, but this looks spot on. I think this looks really, really good. Extra heads with her mask down, so she's ready for battle. A very, very cool looking She-Ra. And then Friday, the last announcement for the week. Uh, very interesting one. Throwback packaging. Classic He-Man. 40th anniversary He-Man. I really do like this one. I am going to get two of these. I'll get one mint on card just for the classic packaging. It looks so cool. Uh, it is your master verse He-Man style, but with the old school head kind of building the worlds together. Just thought that looked very, very cool. I was all in on this one. Uh, just I love the packaging. I love everything else about it. So I'm, I'm all in. But a lot of Mattel uh, He-Man news this week. Very interesting times for us He-Man collectors. So uh, finally, we do the album of the week, of course. But a uh, little known fact, maybe you guys are keeping track at home. I wasn't. But next year will be the two-year anniversary of the channel. The YouTube channel will be two years old next, next weekend. So stay tuned for that as well. Probably no surprises. It was one year anniversary. We did a special show with uh, who did we have? We had Matt Cardona. We had Smart Mark. We had uh, David C. Anderson. We had Waylon Jennings. We had John Cena. We had a lot of special guests on that episode. If you remember back to the one year anniversary, well, I don't know if we're gonna have anything special for the two year anniversary, but it is gonna be the two year anniversary uh, next week. So we'll celebrate somehow, maybe if we remember. We'll see. 
Uh, album of the week this week, Impera by Ghost. Of course, longtime Ghost fan before they even had an album out. I, I'm a little disappointed the mystery isn't still there. Uh, this album took me a few listens. I really didn't like it on the first listen, but it has definitely grown on me. Uh, it is a strong Ghost album. I think I like it a little bit better than the last album. Uh, Hunter's Moon is probably my favorite song, which was the first song we heard from it. But if you like Ghost, if you're interested, it's worth at least one spin. Check it out. But this is one of these albums that grows on you. I think it took me about three listens till I was really, really in on it. Uh, so you guys choose your own adventure on that one. But Ghost, get in the album of the week spot. So there it is. A lot of news this week. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to the weekly purchases. All right, let's get down to the weekly purchases. And we kick it off with a little Walmart delivery this week as we got the WWE Superstars line. I got two Bray Wyatts and one Hulk Hogan through the mail. For some reason, I thought I ordered two Hogans. I went back, and somehow I only ordered one, but I got my two Bray Wyatts. Uh, I, nah, I don't know. Uh, Hogan, of course, shipped in a mailer like a lot of other people, so it is damaged. It will be an opener. I need a bin on card one if I'm going to double this up. I got to be honest, this is probably the most disappointing line going today in wrestling for me right now. A lot of hype for it. Terrible distribution. Delayed orders. You see not hitting the store pegs. Uh, just It just doesn't seem like it's firing on the right cylinders, which really can kill a line really quick. Mattel cares, but they probably don't care a ton because, hey, it's a Walmart exclusive. We did our part. We gave it to Walmart. It's stuck up in their distribution network. It's on them right now. Uh, so I don't know. I'm really down on this line. I'm going to unbox these two together sometime this week. We'll talk about it. But, of course, damaged carding. Uh, if you're a mint on card guy, this is going to be a tough set to complete mint. Uh, getting it unpunched even harder. I don't know. I hope they can really save this, resurrect this line. I'm hoping that Ultimate Warrior brings some Ultimate Warrior power back to this. I don't know. I'm just a little down on it. Just a little disappointed that they're so hard to find. I still no sign of Ric Flair. Haven't been able to order him ever. We'll see what happens. I guess you just can't win them all is what it is. But we got those three through the door this week, so stay tuned for that unboxing. Uh, Walgreens.com. A lot of people griping about Walgreens. Hey, these are very easy to get on their website. They're up for a long time. Long time in this world is like six hours. But I did get my Baron Zemo Walgreens exclusive. Got binary last week, Baron Zemo this week. So I'm I'm happy. I'm a content guy. We'll unbox him on the channel sometime. Found this on the toy hunt. If you were watching my toy hunts this week, $14, normally like 40 bucks. I said, you know what? I'll give it a shot. We'll see what old Dio and Siona from Fortnite is up to. Kind of an astronaut thing. You guys know I can mix my uh, Fortnite figures in with some Marvel Legends. I might just do that. We'll see what happens. But for 14 bucks, I said, you know what? It's worth a shot. It's, I'll try it out. We'll see what's going on. Has Pulse got Iron Man this week, finally. My first of their anniversary line of figures. Uh, I got the old Charles Bronson head here. We've been talking about this one for a long time. You guys know I love Charles Bronson. I love a good death wish. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be creating a Charles Bronson figure out of this. Why wouldn't you? Why would you not? Got this through the line right here. We'll talk about that a little bit more in depth and why I didn't get the original versions of these way back in the day. Uh, another one I got... Did I get this from eBay? Or not eBay. Amazon, I believe, came through. Got old Cassian Andor. Captain Cassian Andor. Don't want to offend him. Got this from the Rogue One movie. So we got him through the door this week. Another Star Wars. Uh, we got a Star Wars unboxing on the Patreon. My old boy, Bib Fortuna. We'll try to get him out on the traditional YouTube uh, very soon. How about one? You guys know I was complaining because somehow I lost my glasses to Jimmy Hart. Well, good brother, good supporter of the, of the channel, longtime supporter of the channel, Sambro came across to Yokozuna, and it really worked out really well. He wanted the Yokozuna. I wanted the Jimmy Hart glasses, so the Build-A-Figure pieces. And then David C. Anderson wanted the salt bucket for Yokozuna. So we did a three-way split on that one. So I got my Jimmy Hart glasses and head. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just need the glasses. I don't know what I'll do with the head and megaphone. I'll figure something out. Uh, but we got those through the door this week from Sambro. And then he really popped me and made me laugh as he threw in Bat Boy Steve Austin with a, <laughs> with a beret like a young Flint here. Uh, possibly the worst wrestling figure of all time. Uh, just a hysterical looking figure. Uh, Bat Boy Steve Austin. I laughed when that was in the package. So I got this. Uh, gotta love Bat Boy Steve Austin. Gotta get a deal portion of the episode this week. Uh, you guys know I picked up that huge classic Superstars haul. And if you're a Patreon member, 
keep saying Patreon, but it's going to be up there. That's where the first stuff will be for sale. A lot to come with that, uh, including video series, you name it. There's a lot to come in the Classic Superstars department for you fans of that. But there's some of those figures that are worth a lot of money, and I need loose versions. And I just can't bring myself to open it up, so I'm looking for a few key pieces. Going to let it marinate for a while, see if I can get a deal out there. Got to get a deal, of course. And this week, I found an old Gerald Briscoe on eBay. But you're probably saying, Kyle, that is not Gerald Briscoe. That is Jack Briscoe. That is 100% correct. But he was labeled as Jerry Briscoe on uh, the eBay site. So I got this for a steal of a deal. As you know, Jack Briscoe, one of the hardest to find classic superstars. Uh, but it was labeled wrong. And sometimes you got to search these things. Uh, one thing I learned back in the day when you're searching for LJN figures, for example, uh, there's a lot of moms and grandmas selling these things. They don't know what they are. They look at the foot and it says Titan Sports. They say Titan Sport Wrestler. They put that up in the description. That is a key. You got to look at some of the descriptions, what people put in, and sometimes misspellings and mislabeling. You can get a deal. That's exactly what I did with that Jack Briscoe. Very happy I don't have to unbox that one. I can just uh, sell it, make some of my money back because that was an expensive purchase. You guys know how it goes. So I got that this week. Also got this in the mail via Target. I couldn't cancel this one because it was part of, uh, they had like a $25 gift card if you bought $100 in toys. And of course he was in here. Found him in the stores. We unboxed this on the channel like six weeks ago. But I got another sleepwalker. I can't take it back or else I have to take that money back out. So I'm not going to do that. Probably going to use this as a future giveaway on the channel. Uh, maybe we'll do a giveaway next week for uh, the two-year anniversary. Maybe we'll do something like that. Uh, Patreon, of course, there is a monthly giveaway for you Patreon members. This is the first month of the Patreon. So uh, sign up. You're going to be in for the big giveaway. And then anybody that signs up for the little giveaway... Uh, so get get a part of Patreon, and we'll give this one away probably sometime soon. Uh, talking about that Target Holothon this week, well, there's that Muck Man, the glow in the dark version. So a little bit of a repaint going on here, a lot of bit of a repaint, but I did pick this up this week. He was just chilling on the pegs, so I grabbed him, and then like I talked about, had to get the old Lon Chaney Wolfman, black and white edition. I was thinking about passing on this, but man, it looks so cool in person. I could not pass up the Wolfman, so I got him through the door as well. The hits keep coming. If you saw me down at Ikea on that figure hunt, we've got Bret Hart. We got The Undertaker. A little bit better Bret Hart than we've seen lately. And we got Teardrop Undertaker, just out of prison Undertaker. He killed somebody, obviously. Uh, but I got this. I don't get all the basics, but something like this, a cool enough classics pack, I'm going to pick that one up. So we'll unbox that on the channel one of these days fairly soon. Of course, Amazon coming hot. We know there was a limit of two, and I already got my two prior, uh, but I had to get two more. I called in my dad. They ordered on Amazon. Got two Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Editions. Got two more. So now I got my loose one. I got my mint one. I got one for my office, and then I'm thinking about opening this one up and displaying the other head. Uh, we'll see what I end up doing. Who knows? Maybe I'll trade one away. I'm not sure, but I did get another Ultimate Warrior. I know a lot of people missed out on them. I know a lot of people missed out on them because they charge your card, and if you don't have the funds in there, you lose your orders. So there was some of that going on that people were maybe surprised about. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. It's always Russian roulette when you order online, it seems like, anymore with collectibles, for sure. Uh, I did pick up another one of these. Uh, I saw about 10 of these this week on my fig hunt. It's the Walmart exclusive Sting. Uh, they're definitely getting out there. We did see this week the Cody Rhodes one is starting to hit on the East Coast. So I got to think the Cody Rhodes LJN Red Tights Edition will be out soon. Uh, but we saw Sting this week, which I said, you know what? I don't really need another Sting, but I'm going to just buy them for either a future giveaway for Patreon or on the channel or just for a rainy day. You never know. Maybe this will be worth a ton of money one day and I can sell it. I don't know. But I grabbed another Sting just because he was there. I saw so many. I felt like something's telling me I need to pick up Sting. So that's what I did. I uh, got a couple of interesting things left. If you're a kid of the 80s and 90s like myself, this was a game we absolutely loved. And I picked it up. I saw it at Target. Haven't played it yet. And hopefully my kids enjoy it. Hopefully they have the patience to play it. But a good old Fireball Island. Uh, I absolutely loved Fireball Island as a kid. Uh, I'm not a really board gamer. I never really was. But for whatever reason, I loved Fireball Island. I remember playing it a ton. Hopefully it recaptures the magic of the old one. It looks like, I feel like the box was bigger on the old one, but maybe I was smaller. I don't know. I don't know. But Fireball Island, through the door this week. I ended up picking it up at Target. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, two more things. You guys know I've been on the hunt for Swamp Thing for a while. I got the original Swamp Thing. We unboxed that like two months ago on the channel. But I've been looking for that Platinum Edition, and I'm not paying up. If I run across it, great. If I don't, I'm just going to pass on the Platinum Edition. But I did go to GameStop this week, and I did see the Antler Edition of Swamp Thing. 
Uh, really, the only difference is the head. And I said, you know what? I love Swamp Thing. I haven't seen this before. I guess I'll pick it up. I had a weak moment. Used my $5 coupon, so at least I got $5 off. But I picked up Swamp Thing, the GameStop exclusive version of Swamp Thing this week. And then the final piece of the weekly purchases puzzle here was another time. I got caught in a weak moment searching the interwebs one night and saw this up for pre-order. Well, it finally came. I think it was like 5K or 500K toys. Uh, came from overseas, but it's the jungle version of the werewolf. Uh, kind of a third-party thing. I don't know. I thought the glamour shots online looked amazing. In hand so far, a little bit uh, deceived, I feel. I don't know if this is as good as I thought it was going to be. We'll see. We'll unbox this on the channel this week. Uh, we'll see what kind of werewolf we got going on here. But to me, this looks like uh, a little bit more of a miss than a hit. But you never know. Maybe it'll surprise me when I get it out of the package. Sometimes I take those crazy things. It's, you know, 12 o'clock at night, you can't sleep, and you see things like this, and you just come across, you pull the trigger, and uh, you get regret regrets a couple weeks later, and that's where it might be with this. But, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just a guinea pig for all you guys out there, I guess, sometimes. And that's exactly what this jungle werewolf may be. So there it is. Looking around, is that it? I think that's everything. That's the weekly purchases this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys in the comments, let me know what you picked up this week. You find anything good out on the hunt? How did your Target Holothon go? Did you get what you want? Are you like me, kind of getting ghosted on those four-pack Ninja Turtles? Let me know your thoughts on there. Uh, let me know if you found anything and anything else you want to talk about in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. You made it this far, you might as well. Support the channel. Give it the old thumbs up. Retweet if you are so nice and share the video, of course. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And then, don't forget, Pro Wrestling Tees got a brand new t-shirt up on Pro Wrestling Tees. What are we doing? You guys asked for it. And here's the thing. My wife... This is her design idea. So if you don't like the shirt, you got to blame my wife, Angie. Uh, but what are we doing up on Pro Wrestling Tees right now? Uh, so pick that one up and support the channel. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Patreon, I keep talking about it, but it's a lot of fun over there. A lot of early videos, a lot of early content. You get my weekly pizza review. Who wouldn't want that, of course? A lot of stuff going on Patreon, including monthly giveaways. So check out Patreon if you are so inclined and want to support the channel. So there it is, another week of weekly purchases. You know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling, my way to pizza for dinner, but also to Target. Hopefully I can find those turtles. Keep the fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. And I'm Kyle. See you guys all. Real soon.